Okay guys, you know what time it is. Buckle up. It only smells a little bit like gasoline in here, but you guys, this is the important part. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh-huh. Okay, don't just don't look at the odometer. Yes, I know. I'm almost hitting 100,000 miles. This is an old car. But do you see any check engine light on? Right now, I don't see it. So I think we did a good job. Fuel gauge is registering as full which is accurate. This is the first time in months that it's been right. I just wanted you guys to see that because it's kind of a celebration. <laughs> Anytime you can do the work yourself and get her done, that's always a good feeling. We probably saved ourselves hundreds of dollars, maybe even at least a thousand dollars. I don't know, but now we know how to replace the fuel cinders in the car. I just don't want to do it again anytime soon. I'm catching colds again, so I'm expecting my nose to start running any second now. Anyway, thank you for those of you who commented on the last video where I asked you, what do you do for Valentine's Day? I don't know what happened. Years ago, we used to celebrate Valentine's Day. We would exchange cards and I would make my card. And I spent a lot of time on it. We're kind of crafty people, so that was sort of a fun thing to do. I kind of miss doing that. I don't know what changed, but over the years, maybe a certain level of cynicism set in and then we just kind of stopped celebrating Valentine's Day and I tell you if it weren't for the children we probably wouldn't celebrate Christmas or Easter or any holiday apart from 4th of July who doesn't want to celebrate 4th of July I mean fireworks <laughs> If I could have fireworks on Valentine's Day, I'd be okay with that, just for future reference. Oh, the school is locked down. I think they're doing a lockdown drill at school. They're saying the campus is locked down. There's a police car in front of the school, but it's not. I think it's just a drill, guys. Don't worry. But anyway, back to the important issues at hand, like gift giving and whatnot. There are people walking by, probably thinking I'm a lunatic. Sometimes I get too animated when I'm sitting in the car, so I try to behave like I'm robotic and have no emotion so that people won't know that I'm sitting here talking to a camera. But really, I am talking to you guys and I feel like I'm connecting with you guys. It's just not streaming. Maybe we need to do a stream one day. That might be fun. <sighs> this afternoon, I need to make yet another trip to the store. It seems like I'm always forgetting something. And I always drive all the way to that store that we go to that you see in the videos instead of the one that's closer because I used to work at the one that's closer. Things didn't end well. But that's another story. Okay.
sneezed my face off. I'm not feeling very good today. A little bit of a fever, my face feels hot. I shouldn't stay up editing all night, but I probably will anyway. <laughs> today was a little bit weird weather-wise, but otherwise, the situation normal. I think I did a lot of talking in the car part of the vlog. So I guess I don't really need to add anything much here, which is probably a good thing because I don't feel very good anyway. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a headache going on. I guess it's just something going around again. Oh, and I'm, try I'm still trying to drink a lot of water. So far, I'm able to do about a half a gallon a day for sure. Sometimes a little bit more than half a gallon, but it's really hard, especially when it's not terribly hot outside. Now, if it's in the summer, I probably won't have any trouble at all. I need to work on that some more. That might help with the cold. I tried to check some news today to see if there was anything for me to get upset about. Well, there's plenty of things to get upset about, but nothing that I care to talk about right now. I think everybody knows how I feel at this point. There's some interesting things in science news though. They're considering a project that they thought of back in the 70s about making a solar array in the Earth's orbit and beam down electricity to the planet via microwaves. This sounds really interesting. I think though my first, my initial thought before reading the entire article was that it sounds awful, like something that could be weaponized, but in the article they assure everyone that it will not be weaponized and that they could potentially bring electricity to areas that are damaged by weather or to remote villages that wouldn't otherwise have electricity. That was pretty interesting, and I think one of the one of the most interesting parts about it was the plan would be to send this thing to the moon, where it could replicate the solar panels or the solar cells or or whatever, and harvest silicates or whatever they need from the surface of the moon to make these solar panels, and it would be like an autonomous thing that would build itself and then launch into the Earth's orbit. That sounds really sci-fi, but when you think about the future and the things that you would sort of expect from the future, it seems like that might work. I mean, why not? I wouldn't discount it. I wouldn't shoot it down, especially since we're seeing the oil industry sort of in its last gasps to hanging on to control and power. First of all, eventually that stuff's going to run out. And the second thing is, I don't know, climate change? If you believe in that sort of thing, well, let me just put it this way. Whether you believe in it or not, one day you're going to be forced to deal with it. <laughs> so, so, there's that. I think it might be something worth looking into, or at least just don't discount it. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some other stuff coming down the pike. Yeah, it's, it's exciting times as long as they don't try to put a muzzle on the scientific community, the engineers, and just anybody who can develop this stuff. Certainly, certainly something to look forward to. This really is itchy. It's gonna be okay. All right, I did a size workout today. And even though it's one of the first dances of the size program, or it is the first dance of the size program, it was actually kind of a challenge. Maybe maybe because I'm already out of sorts, but um, yeah, it was kind of a challenge. It was about a 30 minute workout, not too bad. So depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow, <laughs> we'll see. I want the stars to follow the sky. Um, but depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow, I might or should be doing the next dance in the program so I can start wrapping up size and get ready for the horrible insanity workout. No, it's not horrible. It's good. It's a wonderful workout. I tell you, insanity is intimidating and it is difficult, but I remember the warm-up is tough. It took me a long time to work my way up to completing the warm-up without stopping. Yeah, I think I might have made it a month through Insanity before, but it's a two-month program. After I got used to it, I remember feeling pretty good, and it, it gets easier. It's still one of the toughest 
programs that I've ever done. I don't know. I think I'm up for the challenge. We'll see. If I survive it, you'll know. Because I'm going to document it anyway. Okay. I need to... I need to get off here. It's about 9 o'clock. I haven't even started editing yet. I mean, obviously, I'm sitting here chatting away once again. Always thinking. I have nothing to say, but yet I keep going on and on. Okay, you guys. I hope you all are feeling well, having a great day. I want to thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. You guys, take care out there, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Went through your hoops just to hold your near.